Josh Ram just went to medical school in the Caribbean. When he tried to come home and practice, the anxiety set in. There definitely were a few sleepless nights and a little bit of uncertainty. He struggled to find a medical residency because there's a cap on spots for Canadian doctors trained abroad. There is this tremendous pool of international medical graduates who are talented, who are dedicated, who really want to take care of Canadians. But they often can't. According to a CBC News analysis of medical school data, every year the country turns away more than a thousand Canadian doctors who went to school overseas giving preference instead to foreign-born doctors who are trained here, but who will eventually go home. It's a complex system that is off the rails, where the public interest is uh, subverted to the interests of the universities who want the money. This advocate has a solution. Get rid of a loophole that allows foreign nationals to cut in line. They're called visa trainees. Most of them are from oil-rich countries like Saudi Arabia. They can buy their way into Canada while Canadian citizens and permanent residents are sidelined. Since 2019, the number of foreign nationals in a residency has gone up 70 percent. For Canadian doctors trained abroad, there's been virtually no increase. I think that there's a lot of stress in the system. This healthcare expert says Canada needs to prioritize its own doctors to address staffing gaps. We absolutely have a crisis of not enough medical students going into family medicine. Critics suggest the country's limited residency spots shouldn't be wasted on people who won't practice here as doctors. Federal data suggests the country will be short some 44,000 physicians by the end of the decade. J.P. Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa.